Curtis, we have to go to um, the four towns or five towns. To. Yeah. Which one? Granby. We have to go to Canton, Ellington, and Field. Oh, we gotta go to Canton. Right? Yeah, so we gotta get ready. But I think we should welcome everybody, right? Hi, and welcome to the Hartford Region Open Choice Virtual Fair. This fair is geared to our Hartford family who have two options. Last week, you might have attended our Magnet School Virtual Fair, but as a Hartford family, you have two options. You can apply to your top five choices for Magnet Schools, but you also have the choice of applying to the Hartford Region Open Choice Program, where you have an option of attending 28 towns in the greater Hartford area. Some people think that you just um, can apply to one, but you have some choices in terms of schools, but this is another choice. It is a choice, and you know, I know that some folks who are interested into the uh, Open Choice program have some questions and wonders, and they want to know what is the difference between Open Choice and what is the difference between Magnet Schools. Well, in the Open Choice program, the thing is once you apply, you no longer have to apply in the application system again. So once you're in, all the way into a high school, um, graduation, so that's so, one of the things. So yeah, let's say, that, so that's a little confusing sometimes for families, right? So basically to reiterate, to restate again is, you have, if you're a Hartford resident, yep. you can apply to the Open Choice Program yep. and have a choice, obviously it's not their choice, but they'll get a, a seat offered mm -hmm. in one of the 28 towns, correct? Correct. And once you're in that town, you're there, if you start in kindergarten, you are You're there, there all the way until 12th grade. Well, that's kind of an incentive compared Absolutely, to the magnet schools where you have to reapply. Absolutely. But, so Absolutely. I think that's kind of cool. Well, how about the transportation? Transportation is still provided. That is true. Um, there are transportation for our students in pre-K all the way again to 12th grade. So it just depends on um, what grade level you get in. However, there is transportation and so families don't have to worry about that and the great thing about transportation for open choice you do get a corner stop it's not a centralized location like and you know with the magnet system so with open choice you get a corner stop closest to your house so i think this is a pretty good deal i'm a harper resident yeah i have a choice to apply to magnet schools but i have the choice for the open choice program free transportation my kid gets a spot and they're there through high school Absolutely. I think that's a great deal. I think so too. We just went over some great things, but you know, being in Hartford and living in Hartford myself, I know that we have a huge Spanish speaking population. Oh, How yes. about you giving that message in Spanish? Ay, claro que sí. Hola mi gente, ¿cómo están? Bienvenido al Hartford Region Open Choice Virtual Fair, la feria virtual. Esta opción es para las familias que viven en Hartford. Ustedes tienen dos opciones. Pueden llenar la solicitud para ir a las escuelas Magnus, pero también pueden ir al Hartford Region Open Choice Program, que eso es para la gente que vive en, en Hartford asistir. Tenemos 28 distritos que pueden atender. Los niños empiezan ahí en, en kindergarten hasta grado 12. So esa otra opción, so pongan las preguntas que tienen aquí en el chat y nosotros las contestamos en español para ustedes. Pero si tienen preguntas después de esto, todavía pueden llamar al Centro de Bienvenida aquí en CREC al 860-509-3700. Gracias. Well, I think we better get on going and get to these districts because we have quite a few to visit, especially one that's new, and that's Coventry Public Schools. So how about we get in the van and get going? Well, why don't, well, shouldn't they hear first from our, our school choice director, Christina Jordan? That's right. A message from Christina. Hello, my name is Christina Jordan and I work in the Open Choice office in Hartford, Connecticut. We know that you have many options in choosing a school setting for your child and I'm here to speak about a little known option unique to Hartford residents. Have you ever heard of the Open Choice program? Well, this program has a long legacy of integration in Connecticut's capital region. Did you know that Hartford, Connecticut had one of the nation's pioneering integration desegregation plans, it was called Project Concern. It was a small voluntary plan that involved a few hundred students from the city attending suburban schools. It continued into the mid-1990s and later was revived as our current program, Open Choice, as part of the remedy in the lawsuit Chef vs. O'Neill. 
This landmark case was filed in 1989 by Elizabeth Horton Sheff and other families in Hartford that argued that Connecticut's system of separate city and suburban school districts led to racially segregated schools and a violation of the children of Hartford's rights to an equal educational opportunity. So fast forward to 2020. The Open Choice Program now serves over 2,300 students in soon to be 28 suburban districts. The program also supports close to 100 suburban students who attend Hartford Public Schools. Open Choice is open to students pre-K 4 to grade 12. And once a student is enrolled in a suburban district, the student becomes part of the school system until graduation. We provide ease of access transportation to and from school, including late busing. The students are welcome and encouraged to participate in extracurricular activities such as clubs, sports, travel, as well as their host towns activities. And as a participant in Open Choice, families and students have full access to our Hartford-based team. We're here to support your family from registration through enrollment, as well as acclimation into your child's new environment. We provide advocacy, racial equity training to suburban schools and districts, parent empowerment trainings, translation and interpretation in Spanish, special education consultation. We will attend PPTs and 504s upon request. We provide instructional coaching for suburban teachers, college and career advising for your children and more. We pride ourselves on our commitment to approaching all aspects of our program with a social justice equity lens. Our Hartford-based team serves as a support for families navigating new systems, as well as a support to districts welcoming beautiful, diverse cultures from the city of Hartford. We do hope that you consider us as a viable option as you choose what's best for your child's educational experience. For more information on Open Choice program and our district schools, please visit choosecrack.org. Wow, can you believe it, Aura, that Open Choice has been around since the 60s, the 60s and has, you know, developed into so many different districts that students can participate in. They've served thousands of students over the years. And so I just think it's a wonderful opportunity for folks to take advantage of. Yeah, so again, the Hartford Region Open Choice Program used to be known as Project Concern, as we just learned. So since the 60s, can you imagine how many alum are out there who may be watching? So if you're in a, a Project Concern alum, please hit us up on the chat, and we're, we would love to have your children come through the program, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So yes, the program is still around. If you are an alum, we're still here. We're still here to serve you and your family. So make sure you go to choosecorrect.org to apply and gain more information. So we're gonna go visit some towns right now, right, Curtis? And we have 28 towns that participate in the Open Choice Program. We're only gonna hear from a few of them because we only have time to visit five, unfortunately, today. Right, right? but I'm really excited because we have a, our newest town on board, Coventry Public Schools, and you're going to hear from them today. And so I'm super excited that we get to hear more about their district and more about their programs and their academics and what they have to offer to our Hartford residents. Yeah, so again, you have 28 towns as a choice, but today you're gonna get a little teaser on five of the towns. And then again, if you have more questions, just reach out to us. A lot of children who come here will see different cultures and skin tones for their first time learning to embrace and learning different cultures and our curriculum involves different holidays and we talk about different religions and different cultures and different foods and these are all things that children are being exposed to that they will need in their adult life and they're going to grow up and it won't be so foreign to them because they're being introduced to them at a young age. When I look at my classroom I see many scientists and engineers and future politicians and doctors. I look in my kitchen and I see kids playing house and I envision these children with their own families one day and I see contractors building the block center and I see architects and I see scientists playing on iPads and I, I look at play as future training for what we're gonna help grow into leaders and what will be a part of our society one day and I think that 
is huge. Visit choosecrack.org. five schools. We have a pre-K to grade one school called Valley View School. We have a grade two through four called Gildersleeve School and we have a grade five and six school called Brownstone School. And then we have a secondary complex that consists of two different schools, the Portland Middle School and the Portland High School. I'm Allison Hyde. I'm the principal here at Brownstone Intermediate School in Portland. Um, I'm excited that we have the opportunity to welcome students from Hartford into our schools. Um, it's a great program and uh, I appreciate the fact that it gives parents in Hartford a choice about where to send their, their students. Um, we have quite a few students here at Brownstone um, who are able to participate in the many activities that we have um, and we enjoy welcoming, welcoming them into our schools. Hi, my name is Maya. Um, I've been in Portland schools since kindergarten. It's very interesting. Um, the thing I love about Portland schools is the after school programs. Hi, I'm Mr. Wallstrom. I'm the principal here at Gildersleeve Elementary School in Portland. Um, Gildersleeve is home to 300 students in grades 2, 3, and 4. Um, and each morning we open our doors to uh, students from the Portland community as well as students from the um, Hartford community. Hi, my name is Ryan Fogg. Hi, my name is Jazal Green. I've been going to Portland school since kindergarten. I've been going to Portland school since first grade. Um, we're in the fourth grade and I like Portland schools because um, they have really good like teachers and they're all really nice and they teach us a lot of things. So I like Portland Public School because I like the teachers and the teachers are very nice. Hi, I'm Kate Lawson. I'm the principal of Portland High School and we are very proud to announce this year that our first graduating class of Open Choice students will be walking across our stage in June of 2018. Having spent a lot of time in our college and career center, these students are ready to take on whatever life holds for them. Good morning, I am Mr. Giedrich, the principal at Portland Middle School. Hola, muy buenos dias. Yo soy el director de esta escuela. Our school prides itself on our climate, our culture. It's positive, it's inclusive, and productive. Can you tell which of our students are from Portland or from Hartford? Neither can we, ni nosotros tampoco. Welcome to Granby. My name is Bob Gilbert. I'm Director of Teaching for the Granby Public Schools, and it's a pleasure to welcome you here to Granby. Parents love the opportunities that we afford their children here in the suburbs. The Granby community has been working with Project Choice for numerous years, and when children start young and start at the primary school, they're coming in at age five and coming in at kindergarten, and they develop those long-term friendships that they can continue on from primary school to intermediate school to high school. Hi, my name is Kimberly Calcasola, and I'm one of the assistant principals at Granby Memorial High School. I've been in this district for about 13 years so far, and I have to say, I've seen the CHOICE program evolve pretty dramatically over those years. Since the inception of students beginning in the earlier grades, the students are coming especially to the upper grades with a sense of family and a sense of community when they approach their learning, when they approach activities, and even each other. At this point, it's even difficult to even figure out who is in the CHOICE program and who's not. They've really become quite a, an amazing member of the community. Hello, I was new to Grammy last year in the 8th grade. I didn't have a friend, but over the time, people were so nice to me. This is a really friendly space, and in high school, there's just more people to become friends with. Hi, I'm Desiree. I've been here since first grade, and I'm now a freshman in high school. 
Over the years, I've made a lot of friends. I like the teachers, they're really nice. They'll help you if you need it. If you're stuck, there's people that you can ask and nobody's really mean here. When I think of the choice program, I think about my parents. Parents have told me that they're looking for something different. I believe that every parent wants the best for their child. And what my parents have told me is that sending their child to Grammy at times can be a sacrifice because it's a long bus ride, but what they get in the end has been well worth it. They're looking for different opportunities and they're looking for their child to make a difference. And that's what they have gotten from Grammy. Many times I walk through the schools and I see students that I had at Kelly Lane several years back and those students come and greet me with a smile. They are always excited to be here and involved in extracurricular activities and involved in many other ways. So we hope that you will consider having your child come to the Granby Public Schools, a great New England school system. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm here today in Ellington at Crystal Lake School with Superintendent Dr. Nickel. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Great to be here. Yeah, we're out here today just to um, let you all know that the application process is currently open, uh, specifically for Open Choice. And so, Dr. Nickel, how's the program with Open Choice and our Harper residents coming up here to, you know, get a quality education? How's all that going? We have approximately 100 students in the Harper Choice program currently at Ellington Schools. Absolutely amazing. They are part of the Ellington family. We've increased over the last three to four years. K-12, and you know what's amazing is we have many students that come in as kindergartners or first graders and they graduate as seniors and I shake their hand going across the, uh, the aisle and giving their diploma. An amazing, an amazing experience. That's really great that, you know, you can get in through the Open Choice program if you get in at an early age. You don't have to worry about the application process or going back in and, and completing anything because once you're in, like Dr. Nico said, you're part of the Ellington family or part of that district um, from elementary school all the way through high school. So that's definitely, definitely a great factor. And have. let me tell you also this, is that sometimes our families have trouble getting up here for meetings or events. We'll send down an Uber, we'll send down a bus, we'll get you up here because we want you to be part of your child's educational experience, you're part of our family, and we're gonna work, make it work for you. Gotcha, and so, you know, we see that transportation clearly is not something um, that's a barrier for Ellington, but what about seats? How many seats do you guys usually open up for Harper Register? Oh, it varies from time to time, but we open up plenty of seats. There's plenty of opportunities to go to any one of our three elementary schools. We're at Crystal Lake School right now, but there's Windermere, there's also Center School. We do, on occasion, open up seats in the middle and high school, so we would encourage you to look at that, but definitely, pre-K through grades three, an abundance of seats are always opened up, and we really want you to consider Ellington. If you contact us, we'll let you come up here for a visit with any one of our principals. You can meet with me, meet with teachers, anytime. What about that question where family's like, oh, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna be the only one. You know, what do you have to say about that? The that only question? one? <laughs> like I said, approximately 100 students attend the Ellington Public Schools that come from Hartford. So there is a wide range. And also some people don't understand, we're approximately 26% of our entire population are students of color. Diversity is important here in Ellington and we encourage you to come and take a look. Wow, sounds great. Um, sounds like they're doing some great things in here in Ellington. So be sure to complete the application. Um, go in and make any changes before the application deadline. And as always, it's a pleasure to hang out with you today. Absolutely. Thank you, so much. Thank you Curtis. Thank you. We are a pre-K-2 school located in Tolland, just off Interstate 84. We have uh, approximately 500 students here at Birch Grove Primary School. We have nine sections of kindergarten. In our full-day kindergarten program, we focus on early literacy, early mathematics, as well as writing and reading skills. So what do you need at the end? A period. You do need a period. Did you spell need all by yourself? Mm -hmm. 
For early childhood, the importance and the value of that education is really laying those foundational skills. And for me, and I know the other teachers that I work with, really instilling that love of learning. Just that, the curiosity, the intrigue, um, the love of reading and math, and just really showing students that you believe in them, you're giving them the tools to succeed, and they're gonna go far with all of that. I have a really fun class this year. They are lively and energetic, but super eager to learn, little sponges. All the students in my, in my class are Birch Grove students, Talon students. I would say it's unidentifiable which students are open choice students and which students are not, because in our room, they're, they're all just Talon students. They're all my students. I think it's a, a privilege to be part of the Open Choice program. I think that ultimately choice in Connecticut um, and the Open Choice program is, is really critical and it has been around for generations and it's continued to grow and evolve. I think that it's one of the ways that education in Connecticut becomes more equitable and we're committed to that program and to the children that are a part of it. We continue to celebrate differences. We are always looking to build community. We work closely with all parents here at Birch Grove Primary School. Parents are always welcome to be part of the school environment here at Birch Grove. And we're very excited to be part of the Open Choice program. So we look forward to continuing to build relationships and uh, to support all students in their educational journey here at Birch Grove Primary School. Hi, my name is Rhonda Carey and I'm the proud principal of Coventry Grammar School in Coventry, Connecticut. We are a K-2 school which really provides us the opportunity to be committed to our young learners. We're passionate about educating young learners grades K-2. Our seven kindergarten classrooms are supported by three paraeducators and we average six sections in grades 1 and 2, bringing our school community to about 360 students. In addition to our amazingly talented classroom teachers, we are so fortunate here to have a staff that includes a full-time social worker and a full-time school psychologist. We make sure that we meet the needs of the academic, social, and behavioral needs for all children. We have a robust staff. Certified staff include special education teachers, reading consultants, math interventionists, and teacher of gifted and talented. We also have paraeducators that support students generally, as well as students who have individual needs. Our school is about making sure there is a balance between the academic and the social curriculum for all of our students. And as such, we make time to build positive relationships every day. We have a morning meeting, and that includes time for students to share their individual interests and talents. Also time for them to do activities together, to come together as a class. Our teachers and all staff are developing positive relationships with students every day, greeting students as they walk in the door, taking interest in their personal lives, and making sure that their talents shine at school. We are focused on literacy and numeracy at this young age, but that we still make time for STEAM, science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics. In our kindergarten classroom, students are really excited to spend time learning to code in a program that's called Animals and Algorithms. The counterpart in second grade is called Grids and Games, a fabulous way for our students to start to learn to code and understand technology. We are also a school that is now one-to-one -one devices. In kindergarten, we are currently using iPads, and in first and second grade, we are using Chromebooks. All of our students have access to an individual device 
that they're also able to take home for support in the home environment. Our connections between home and school are very strong. We reach out through meet and greets, we have open house, our PTO is very active. We have meetings every month and parents have opportunities to support our school by both contributing to ideas and suggestions and actively being involved. We meet students where they are and take them far. Students who may need more support, we have a very robust intervention program in both reading and math. Students are able to receive support outside of the classroom without missing important classroom instruction. And for students who are working above grade level in any particular area, we make sure that we have programs that are challenging them and continuing to make every student grow from where they are forward. Our commitment to social emotional learning is very strong. We invest in a program called Second Step. Each day in grades K-1 and 2, students receive explicit instruction in the skills and concepts that are needed to get along with others, learn how to be compassionate, learn empathy, learn how to solve problems. All of these important skills that help our community both in the school and in the larger community of Coventry and the world be a better place to live where all people can get along and respect one another. We also have activities beyond the school day. We have multi-sports that provide students an opportunity to get out and exercise and stay healthy in group activities. We also have an activity through our art teacher where students beautify our school by creating outside gardens, fairy gardens, and all kinds of neat things around our building that help beautify our building and support student creativity. Our students learn the value of community members. We help our students become aware of the world outside of our school. For example, each year we have a Veterans Day Assembly where our students are learning about the armed forces and the commitment that both current and past service members have made for our country. Our students participate in 45 minutes of music, art, library media, or physical education. We believe in a balanced curriculum that includes both math, literacy, science, and social studies, as well as the arts. I think one of the best things I could say about CGS is a great place for kids. We respect and honor the individual while bringing our students together as a community. I invite you to learn more about our community. Visit our website, check out our pictures, give us a call, email the principal. We are happy to help in any way we can help you explore all the great things we have to offer in Coventry. Wow, what a journey, Aura. We just heard all from all those districts and all that information that we've gained today. Yes. And to know that you have the opportunity for our families to kind of go and, and go to a school in a different town, take advantage of really strong curriculum, sports, really be a part of that district and feel like that district is your home. I think that's just such a great opportunity. What do yes, you think? Absolutely. I and mean, we only visited a few towns, but we've got 28 towns that the families can participate in, right? Um, at every town, we have late buses for athletics, right? Yep, you said? And for school clubs. And for school clubs. And you're part of the community, right? As a parent, um, you just can go to all the activities. I mean, I think that's pretty amazing. I wish I had that well, when I was younger. Yes, being a part of the community is definitely encouraged, right? And that's why being participating in the Open Choice Program, we have resource specialists in the department that consists with your transition. Wow. Specifically, Carla Cruz, who is the Open Choice Family Engagement Specialist, and now you get to hear from her and what the rest of the department has to offer. So lots of support for the families. Wow, amazing. And then after Carla, right, we get to hear from the parents. We have a lot of parents. How many families are in the Open Choice Program right now? Right now, there's a little over 2,300 students that participate in the oh Open Choice Program. Oh my goodness, 2,300. Yeah, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. So let's hear, after Carla, I think we should hear some parent testimonies. Absolutely, because what's best in hearing from our families. Hola a todos, I'm Carla Cruz, Family Engagement Specialist for the CREC Hartford Region Open Choice Program. I'm here to ensure that your transition into your new district is as seamless as possible and that you are provided the tools to help you navigate your child's school. 
during your search as a Hartford resident, know that the Open Choice program offers an additional layer of support in addition to the school district. Our Hartford-based team can support you and your child with transportation, student services, in collaboration with our resource specialists in college and career advisory. We also support our districts in areas of social justice and equitable practice by offering professional development to staff with the help of our diversity and inclusion coordinator. As always, please be sure to connect with us on social media and YouTube by searching our official hashtag, OpenChoiceHartford. My name is Keith Bowling Jr. Um, I'm a graduate of West Harvard Public Schools through the Open Choice Program in 2001. I put my daughter in the program, me and her mother decided to put her in the program because education is big in our home and we want our daughter to just have the best opportunities. I think every parent wants their child to have the best opportunity, I think so, have the best opportunity they can have. She goes to South Windsor Public Schools. She started in um, Eli Terry, and now she's in seventh grade. The main thing I like about the program is you get to know different cultures from all over the world. And that helps you um, with your perception of people and helps your respect for certain people. Because I think the only race issue is just the lack of not understanding how our culture and how our culture is, how your culture and how your culture is. But see, I have friends now, since the first grade, I can still talk to and call right now. Like, so it's just lifetime relationships, lifetime network connections, and just a whole family, really. Our main goal was Kayla's education and her being raised correctly in the right way. But the challenges we dealt with, another challenge we dealt with was the traveling, working out schedules, work schedules, school schedules, you know what I'm saying? We had to, we had to fight through all that, but it's sacrifice. Like I said, you have to sacrifice for your children. If you're not willing to sacrifice, this pretty much isn't the program for you, but if you're willing to sacrifice, if you want the best for your children, enroll them in open choice, and you won't regret it. Hi, my name is Callie Bostic Gardner, and I'm excited to speak with you today from the Creck Welcome Center at 111 Charter Oak Avenue in Hartford. The new application to the Creck Magnet Schools and Hartford Region Open Choice Program will be available through the Regional School Choice Office, RESCO, on December 1st at 12 noon. This year, the application will look different to you, and we want to help you with any questions that you may have. You may have already attended a virtual magnet school fair and an open choice virtual fair. So, we want to remind you of a few things before you start your application. First, be sure that you have a working email address. Then take the time to attend a virtual open house to become familiar with your choices. Get more information by visiting our website at choosecreck.org. And then get your questions answered by a Creck Welcome Center staff member. There are three ways for you to reach the Welcome Center. You can reach us by phone at 860-509-3700. That's 860-509-3700. Or you can email us at schoolchoice at crec.org, schoolchoice at crec.org. Or this year, we're really excited to introduce our new chat feature, which you will find on our website. When you use our chat in English or Spanish, you may speak with us live, request a phone call, or review our frequently asked questions. We're really excited to connect with you safely and to assist you as you explore a Creck education. Hola, mi nombre es Nilda Hernández y estoy contenta de hablar hoy con usted del Centro de Bienvenida Creck, ubicado en el 111 Charter Oak Avenue en Hartford. La nueva aplicación de las escuelas Magnet de Creck y el programa Open Choice de la región de Hartford estará disponible a través de la Oficina Regional de Elección Escolar. Conocida como RESCO a partir del 1 de diciembre, 
a las 12 del mediodía. Este año, la aplicación se verá diferente y queremos ayudarle con cualquier pregunta que usted tenga. Tal vez ya ha asistido a una feria virtual de las escuelas Magnet y una feria virtual del programa Open Choice. Así que queremos recordarles que algunos puntos antes de completar la aplicación. Primero, asegurarse de tener un correo electrónico activo. Después, tomar tiempo para asistir a una sesión informativa virtual para aprender más sobre las elecciones. Obtener más información visitando nuestro sitio web en choosecorrect.org y entonces obtener respuestas a sus preguntas de un miembro del personal del Centro de Bienvenida Crack. Hay tres maneras para comunicarse con el Centro de Bienvenida. Se puede comunicar con nosotros por teléfono al 860-509-3700, repito, 860-509-3700, o puede enviarnos un correo electrónico en schoolchoice.org, repito, schoolchoice.org. Y este año estamos muy contentos de introducir nuestro nuevo chat que encontrará en nuestro sitio web. Cuando se usa nuestro chat en inglés o español, puede hablar con nosotros en vivo, pedir una llamada o revisar nuestras preguntas frecuentes. Estamos muy entusiasmados de conectarnos con usted y asistirles mientras usted explora una educación crack. Oh my goodness, welcome back Hartford families. I hope you've learned a lot about the Hartford Region Open Choice Program. Um, you heard from the family support specialist, you heard about the application process, you heard, you, we visited a few of the towns, you heard from our director of school choice, and if you need more information, we are here. This is not the end. Even though this is the end of the virtual fair tonight, we are still here for you. As we said in the Welcome Center video, um, our phone number is there, we're here by email, virtually, we have, we're gonna have a live chat feature on the choosecorrect.org. Curtis, I mean, we're just giving a lot to people, right? Absolutely, and as a reminder, don't forget, visit www.choosecorrect.org to explore your options and to click apply. So in the last fair we did, we gave people homework. Oh, that's right. What kind of homework do you wanna give the parents now? So, while you apply and while you're thinking about it, you wanna make sure that you choose all five options in your application. You wanna make sure that you're using an email when you do apply, right? Cause you are gonna apply. You wanna make sure that you use an email that you check often and make sure that your address and telephone information is all up to date. Those are some very, very important things. Right, that is very important. So again, just to recap, if you are watching here with us today, it's because you are a Hartford family and you have two options. You can apply to the Magnet School and then you have the Hartford Region Open Choice Program, which is to attend one of 28 of our suburban districts, free transportation, lots of support, family yep. support, athletics, clubs. Access to a quality education in, in regards to curriculum and clubs and things of that nature. Right, and most importantly, the deadline. When do people have to apply by? The application window is open right now and the deadline is February 28th, 2021. So be sure to go in, complete the application and make any changes that you need to prior to that February 28th cutoff date. Hola mi gente, ya estamos terminando la feria del Hartford Region Open Choice Program. Para recordarles, si tienen preguntas, llámenos al, al Centro de Bienvenido 860-509-3700 o vayan a la página choosecrack.org para más información. Para recordarles, ustedes tienen dos opciones. Pueden aplicar para las escuelas Magnus, pero tienen la opción del Hartford Region Open Choice Program, que pueden ir a 28 distritos que tenemos para los niños, de grado kindergarten hasta el grado 12. So, si tienen preguntas, déjanos saber. So, Curtis, now we have to say goodbye. Um, and I think we should just remind everybody again, what they should be choosing and where they're gonna go, right? Absolutely, let's go. Choosecrack.org. Choose